Good morning, and welcome once again to another Daily Dose from your COVID chaplain down here in Australia. G'day from down under. Great to have you with us, and as we come to the weekend, I thought I'd share with you a thought that follows on from our theme during the week about moving forward, about a fresh start, cleaning the slate and, and rebuilding, and to talk about finding direction from here. Now, we talked yesterday about the prayer of Jabez, the, the prayer where we are allowed to pray that God would bless us, uh, that his, his um, hand would be with us, that uh, we would be delivered from all evil, that God would actually enlarge our territory. But, you know, when we're moving forward, uh, we have kind of a need for a direction. And I told you before that Jesus said, go and sin no more. So that gives us a kind of a, a mode of travel. We are to, to travel in the fear of God, travel uh, relying on God, trusting him, looking to him for wisdom uh, and living the way God wants us to live. But how do we know where to go? How do we know how to find a path that God has for us? And of course, each of us being unique and individual have, have our own background, our own uh, makeup and personality. We have the hand of God upon our lives for, for certain things, certain things that we will enjoy, certain things that God wants us to do, certain things that allow God's blessing to flow through our lives. So here's the thing I want to share with you today. And you know, it's not from the Bible. In fact, it actually comes from a Sunday school song. I remember singing when I was just a little child and it goes like this. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. And all I have to do is follow. Isn't that amazing truth? God actually knows the way. And that statement about God knowing the way to the wilderness goes back to the children of Israel going through the wilderness from Egypt into the promised land. Now, they were journeying in the wilderness for 40 years. And they did not make a decision about where they went and how they went there. That they didn't choose this path versus that path. They didn't have a map. They weren't um, Googling to find out what's the best way to go. The way they were led is that the, the cloud of God's presence, which rested on top of the tabernacle, that the tent that they built, that cloud would rise and lift. And as it began to move, they simply followed. You see, the Lord knows the way through the wilderness, and all I have to do is follow. So as we have a new start, as we, we move forward, as we do so in the fear of God, uh, going and sinning no more, as we, we go to explore whatever it is that God's giving to us as a fresh start, the key for us is to follow the leading of the Lord, to let the Lord show us which way to go. So all we have to do is to follow. And you know, that comes in a number of different ways. It comes, of course, by reading the Bible and seeing what it is that God's telling us to do and, and following the, the, the standards, the instructions, the principles given to us in the Word of God. It also means that we listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to our heart, prompting us in different ways, where God is showing us that there is something we need to do, some direction we need to take, some change we need to make, and we let God call the shots on that. Now, if you're a typical human, you've been programmed to uh, pursue a career path, to pursue your life ambitions, your, to, to look for your own happiness. In fact, the Americans have that built into their, their way of life, talking about the pursuit of happiness. And so people seem to get the idea that it's up to them to choose their, their career path, whether to apply for a job or not, to, to choose the person they want to spend the rest of their life with and where they might buy a home, what investments they might make. Um, what they might do with their leisure and pleasure time. And so people are very accustomed to being the own, their own Lord and Master, the boss of their own life and direction. And so when we come to this idea that the Lord knows the way through the wilderness and all I have to do is follow, then we come up with this discovery that it's not about us choosing what we want to do, when we want to do it and how we want to do it, but listening to the voice of the Spirit of God according to what we read in the Word of God, that guides us into the purposes of God. And so, friends, you need to allow the Lord to lead you. That's how you're going to move on from here to wherever God wants you to be. Let the Lord be the one who leads you through the wilderness. 
when we talk about a wilderness, there's a whole lot of things in our world today that we don't fully understand. We don't know where they're going. We don't know who's doing what and why they're doing it and why certain things happen, happen the way we expected and, and what just might be coming for us. I mean, just a few years ago, nobody anticipated the whole COVID situation we had through 2020. People made plans for the year. They had their overseas trips and their holidays and all the activities planned out. And none of that stuff happened for most people because the plans were overturned. You see, God knows the future. And this wilderness of uncertainty about what's going on, where it might lead, how it might play out, God already knows what's going to happen. And he knows the way through the wilderness. And then all we have to do is to actually commit ourselves to follow the leading of the Lord, to go where he wants us to go, to be what he wants us to be, and to do what he wants us to do. So friends, today, as we come into the weekend and you think about things you want to do and how you want to do them and who you want to do them with, think about the fact that the way forward in your life is actually to be led, not to pursue your own direction. So may that be your purpose today to actually say, God, I need you to show me what I'm meant to do, who I'm meant to be, where I'm meant to go, how I'm meant to go there, what the purposes are, what the direction is, how my life is meant to play out according to your plans. Because God, you understand this wilderness in which I live and you know the way through this wilderness. So I make up my mind to follow. Could you make that your prayer? Lord, I'm choosing today that I'm going to follow. So Lord, show me, show me where I go, what I do, how I'm meant to do it, because I've made up my mind today that I'm going to follow, follow the Lord. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness and all I have to do is follow. So we're going to call today, the Lord knows the way. That's our theme for the day. But the real issue for your heart is, will you, can you, would you follow? Make up your mind today, God, I'm choosing to follow you. Lead me where you want me to go, because there may be many more surprises coming up in the months and years ahead, like COVID was and messing up an entire year for people. So let God navigate you through these things you really don't understand and can't really anticipate and be successful in all you do because you've learned how to follow. So the Lord knows the way through the wilderness. Are you willing and ready to follow? As you make up your mind that you will and you are going to do that, then may the Lord bless you.